Hello, my name is Artur Ajanti, and I will be the admissions tutor for physics here at Imperial from October. So I will be in charge of the admissions process when you are applying. Um, we have five different uh, degree programs available at Imperial that you can you can apply to. Uh, there are three and four year programs, both uh, for general physics or with theoretical physics, and then. There's also a four-year MSI physics with a year abroad, which I will talk about later. The structure of this all is quite similar. In the first two years, um, you learn the core math and physics that every physicist needs to know. And that's very similar in all of these degree programs. And that means that you can switch between them anytime during the first two years make it very flexible, and therefore also means that you don't have to worry too much about which of those you choose uh, on your application form. There are some options that you can already choose in the first two years to make it more uh, suited to your own interests. But in the third and fourth year, you have many more options available. And in fact, it's mostly uh, consisting of optional courses. And that means that you can then start to build your own specialist degree uh, depending on the area of physics, physics that you are interested in. Or if you want, you can take options from different areas and keep it broad. And whichever degree program you are on in your final year, you will do a project um, which gives you an experience of doing research in, um, in physics and experience of independent work, which is very important whatever you want to be doing after your, your degree. Here is a list of options that we currently have available in the third and fourth year. And this is just to show the, the, the range of what's available. So you can see that they go from very theoretical things like uh, general relativity and quantum field theory to very practical things uh, like laser technology or uh, medical imaging. And this is really a big strength of our department is because we are a large physics department doing world leading research in pretty much any area of physics you can think of. It means that we can offer this wide range of options, courses which are all taught by researchers who are doing world leading research in the area that they are lecturing. And therefore, you can be sure that you, whatever area of physics you want to uh, focus on, specialize in, you will get the cutting edge uh, learning in that area. Teaching is uh, consists of a range of different forms of learning. Uh, you have lectures, small group teaching which supports them, uh, labs, uh, you do projects, both earlier or smaller ones, and in the final year, a large one. There you learn professional skills, and to support your learning, you always have access to the lecturers, outside lectures in their office hours. And you also have a personal tutor who follows you through your whole three or four year degree, gives you support, gives you advice, and someone you can always ask if you have any questions. The entry requirements are uh, to all of these programs are two A stars and an A, where math needs to be one of the A stars and physics has to be one of those three. Further math is not a requirement, but it is very useful. It helps you, especially in the first year, because then you have less math to learn. But uh, if you don't have further math, if you're not taking further math, don't worry. We have many students who haven't done it and will do perfectly well. We also accept um, IB, pre-U qualifications, and any equivalent international qualifications. There's an English language requirement, which is either grade six in GCSE or uh, English tests uh, for non-native speakers at the appropriate level. <clears throat> there are a few things to say about uh, the year abroad, which has some additional entry requirements. So on that course, you spend a third year uh, at the partner university abroad. There's a wide, of, wide range of countries where you can go. And in most of them, the teaching is in the local language. And if you are applying to those, you need to choose that course in, your, in the UCAS form. And there's an additional requirement 
uh, that you must demonstrate that you can speak that language, either through GCSE grade six or through some other means. If you want to go to the USA or the Netherlands, then the teaching is in English and therefore there is no additional language requirement. And in that case, just apply to any of the four other physics programs and you switch in the second year. The applications are through UCAS, like for all other uh, UK universities. The deadline is 15th of January, but obviously if you are applying already in October, that's fine. And we will then consider your application from that point. Um, on the application form, I'm sure you are all familiar with that. Um, you put your personal information, your results, personal statement, and then the school reference. And you need to specify five uh, degree courses that you are applying to. And please note that um, you should only put one, one, one imperial physics course there. There's no benefit in putting more than one, because we will, in any case, only consider your application uh, once, and the entry requirements are the same. Uh, in normal years, we would interview candidates before making offers, but this year, because of COVID-19, uh, we have decided that it's not safe to do so. And therefore, we will um, consider your application purely based on what's on the form. Therefore, please make sure that everything you think is important and you want us to know is included. The important selection uh, criterion is obviously uh, grades, both GCSE grades and predicted grades. There's also uh, the school reference, which is very important. So make sure that you work hard in school, but also that your teachers are aware of anything you've done outside school and any special circumstances that may be important so that they can write about them. And then there's a personal statement which allows you to tell us about yourself. And because we are not interviewing, that's very important this year. So tell us why you want to study physics. Um, also, what you have done beyond the normal, beyond uh, the school curriculum. Maybe you have read books, maybe you have done uh, online courses, maybe you have uh, taken part in a competition or done a project. That's all very important for us to know. So please include that. But also please note that it's not a requirement at all. So you won't be rejected just because you haven't done anything like that. <clears throat> also include anything um, which is not physics uh, that you've done. Um, sport, music, positions of responsibility, voluntary work. That's also very important because it tells us about you as a person and your contribution to the to your student community. And, um, and that's it. So uh, just to finish, application deadline 15th of January, but you can apply in October as well. Um, you will hear the outcome by early March at the very latest, probably earlier, but we can't give you any guarantee how long it's going to take. I've included here some pointers for more information. I hope to receive your application and I'll see you in your imperial soon.